and welcome to my channel. I am Debbie. Today I have an unbagging from Fansales and thanks so much to Fansales for reaching out to me and sending these items for me to unbag on my channel. So I do have three canvases and then I have an off the canvas little tool that I wanted to share with you. So let's go ahead and do that one first. This one, I had something similar to this, and I don't know what happened to it. So I saw this one and thought I would go ahead and give it a try with fan cells, and also hoping that it will work with one of the kits that I have been working on. Good grief. Let's see if I can get this out of here. I don't know why it's in this kind of a bag. This is something that you would put... A longer canvas in but that's okay okay this is a tool that you can use if your drills are stuck together and it's not for static it's um, if the drills are stuck and I have a kit that I'm working on now that it almost looks like little seashells because of the way that they are stuck together and the only way that I've really been able to get them apart is to use two separate trays and just kind of smash them together. But these, it's like a grinder. You just put it in here and then you just kind of wind it. And then hopefully that will help with my drills. So the next time that I do have those and I am videoing, I will show you what that looks like and hopefully that will help. Then I have these three. So I'm gonna open these. Hoping not to rip the bag, but I probably will. Let's see, I'm gonna roll this one backwards to see if I can get it to where you can see it better. And before I do any of these, I always put them underneath books and to flatten them out. That really doesn't look that bad, just coming straight out of the bag there. This one is two owls, and sorry for the glare. A lot of times whenever I am unboxing the, um, the actual paper here, the plastic, it does um, produce a glare. I love owls. I have an owl tattoo. If you've been around, you've probably seen it. But I thought this was just really cute. And these are all special drills. So they're crystals. And they do give you a pink pen, a boat, and a small plate of wax. This is a 40 by 30. This is all special drills. And it is a partial. And it's a partial because you do not diamond paint the background. You're only going to paint these cute little owls here. And so here are the colors in the bag. We have um, some gold and there's some blues in here. I think it'll be really pretty. And I really like doing the partials and the specials because it doesn't take very long and I can just take this on the go with me. And this is only 12 colors. So I really like this one and I just love to get um, different types of owls. So I thought this would be a really cute addition to my stash. So there's that one. I'm going to put it over to the side. Hopefully I can get it back in that bag. We shall see. And then this one. It's stuck. There we go. This one is also a 40 by 30. It is 24 colors. This is a round. And this one is a sloth. I thought this was just so cute. I don't have that many animals. So I thought that I'd go ahead and do this one. And if for some reason that I do not put my canvas and my drills back into the same bag, it does give you a number at the top. In this case, this is LG720. And the drills will have LG720 
And this one looks like it has a lot of black mixed in with pink. So that's a little concerning for 16. And 16 is black. I bet that's 310. No, it's 3271. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and open that one. I hate to, actually I'm not going to because I'm afraid I can't get them back in here. There's a few pinks that are mixed in with that black. So I'll have to check that one out. But it's going to have some really cute colors. It has some greens in here and some browns and white coarse brown for the sloth and the pink for the flowers at the top i'm going to check on the sticky that's good and sticky 24 colors it does give you a schematic on both sides on the left and the right and on discount companies i have not seen where they do give you sticker sheets and so i just make my own i will scan in the table the schematic and I'll scan that into my printer and then I will print it out and I'll either use sticker paper or I run it through my Xyron. So there's definitely options. I do want to check and see. I didn't do the other one that way. I want to see if this is truly a 40 by 30. This one is a full drill. This one's actually a... This one's actually a 34. So let's see over here. And usually they will have the complete canvas and not just the drills. And that is a 35. So that's about right. Um, if we were to do the entire canvas, which obviously you don't, that's only for the drills. I think this is going to be really cute. I like his sweet little face there. And I saw this and I thought, you know, I haven't really done any animals. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. And then it has cute flowers up here with the greenery, with the leaves. So that's going to be a fun one and a fast one. So that's the second one. And with this one, because it is a full, they give you a pin, a plate of wax, and a boat and then they also give you some extra baggies if you like to kit up in a baggie and so the third one let's see i found the third one to be really interesting so i wanted to share this with you guys let me flip this one over and the canvas, it feels, it doesn't feel really thin, so it's, it's, it's good discount quality. This is a Jasmine Be Becca Griffith. This is in the public domain, so it is fine to use. There are 24 colors, and the table schematic is on both sides, top left and bottom right. And this one I saw that I wanted to do because I do have several JBGs in my stash. I don't have this one, but I thought it would be fun to do to compare a small size to a larger size, even though I don't have this particular rendering yet. But I wanted to just see how well it actually renders on a smaller canvas. And this is a 30 by 40. It does have a small little thumbnail there kind of hard to see but I think it will be um, really nice to kit up it also has the same toolkit it has a boat a plate of wax and then it also has a pen I would have thought that because this is a full canvas it would give you more than this small little plate of wax I don't use this so it's fine for me and then it has all of the drills here and this one comes in baggies whereas the sloth came in regular bags but this one's nice because it's a sealable baggies i don't know why there's one that's with the regular bags and one that's with these resealable bags but that's fine too i don't use these baggies but for those of you that do this would be a really good opportunity to kit up it does have the number that is the on the table. It also has, let's see, does it have on the baggies, 
on the baggies. It does have the DMC number. Let me make sure that's what that is. That has a DMC number, so that is nice too. So whenever you're kitting down, if you use baggies, then that will be easy for you to kit down. But I really do like this one. I think it'll be fun to do. There's going to be a lot of color blocking in this, so it should not take very long. I don't know when I'll get to these. I was hoping that I'd be able to have one of these completed before I did this video, but um, I'm before I finished the video rather, but I just ran out of time. So this is what I've gotten. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So I've gotten the JBG, I've gotten this cute little sloth, and then the owls, and then also this little tool that's going to help as a grinder. But these I think are good quality for a discount company. And again, thanks to Fansales for sending these to me. I really do appreciate it. I will have the links below as usual. And if you see something that you like, um, whether it is from here that I have purchased or something else, I do find that Fansales is a good discount company. I would just watch for copyrights because I have seen some that are should be legally licensed and they are from other companies but um, they're not on fan sales so just wanted to make you aware of that but otherwise i do like the renderings thanks so much for watching today and until next time happy diamond painting bye